Hi guys, thanks for tuning in on my channel Dutch Game Hunter and it's time again for a new episode Hunting Abroad with Dutchy. And guys for now this is the last episode Hunting Abroad because my country has been in a lockdown for the past four weeks but everything is open again so I'm very happy to be able again to go to pawn shops, flea markets and game stores again and I'm really really excited to go to game fairs again and I'm very curious what will be organized for this year and let me know down below in the comments um, if you are planning to go to game fairs and which one you're going to and if there are any game fairs that I shouldn't miss out on in this week's episode I will be visiting three more stores in Paris and man these stores are amazing they're like small museums with so much cool stuff to see and the first store that we're gonna visit in this episode is all geeks let's go <laughs> Okay, all geeks. Let's geek inside. Well, and as you could see guys, this store mainly contains many Funko Pops and a basement full of animation images. Amazing. They weren't cheap, but they are limited editions and they come with a certificate of authenticity. So it really is a valuable collector's item. But I rather spend my money on expanding my video game collection. Well, let's see what kind of beautiful things can be found at this next store, Geek Story. good guy show for today but don't go away because we've got a very important good guy message just for you Blob. I'm gonna have to hold it myself. 750 bucks. This place is huge. And they have some really nice stuff here, man. Look at this ET. This ET is freaking insane. Amazing, amazing. ET. We can talk, we can talk. Oh, 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 oh. Say it. Phony, phony, phony. He said phone? Phony, phony, phony. 
Wow, guys, this Geek Story store was amazing. All movie goodies and most of it is all related to the 80s of 90s. And five years ago, I was in this same store, but then it was called Mexi Games. And I could remember that there was one game store with a basement filled of showcases filled of retro games. And until now, I had not come across uh, this store. And going through this store, I recognized certain things uh, like the stairs that goes right down uh, to the basement and also the stone arches. Um, so I scrolled through my photos from five years ago and that's how I found out that this shop has changed. But even though it's no longer filled with video games, the store has received a beautiful destination. Well, let's see what the next store has in store for us. Trader Games. Okay, let's spot some NES games for the PlayStation 2. Ah, here, and yes. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 yeah. 
16 euros. That's not bad. the NES game. And yes, we finally scored some NES games. This store trader games was also filled to the ceiling with games. Wow, and their NES games were much better priced than all the other shops that are here on this boulevard. Well, let me show you the games that I got from this store. This is the first game that I picked up, Robocop. I paid 60 euros for it, which I think is a fair price, because when I go on eBay and search for this game or on Marketplace, uh, I will be paying the exact same amount, sometimes even more, but then I also have to pay for shipping, and if I, you know, order the game from, for example, the UK, I also have to pay extra taxes, duties and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, 60 bucks for Robocop. I'm really happy with it. And the condition is amazing. As you can see here on this sticker, they tell you what the condition is of the box, the manual and also the cartridge. Let me open it up. They also shrink wrap the games. So it looks like there are well there are sealed, but it's not in an original seal because they shrink wrap them uh, themselves. And yeah, I didn't open it until now because I'm gonna open it to see what's inside. Let's go. box is in a great condition really cool let's 
open it up. There we go. So, what do we have here? The instruction manual. So, as you can see, it's used. It has some faults in the paper and the cartridge so yeah really happy with this one didn't have it in my collection yet robocop still searching for robocop 2 so that's the first one we picked up then let's go to the second one that one is the attack of the killer tomatoes and i paid 75 euros for it which is also a fair price uh, same story as this one when you go online searching for this game you will be paying the exact same amount or even higher of course depends on um, in what kind of condition it is and this one is in a pretty okay condition and let's see what's inside this one because as you can see it's also shrink wrapped and this one oh here's a small hole and I've actually never played this game uh, before so now I've opened it I'm actually gonna give it a shot because I'm curious about what this game is about Some kind of a platform game there are three pictures on the back and of that I can tell yeah that's a platform game looks pretty cool and this one well it has the original nintendo sleeve the cartridge and the manual and the manual is in a great condition so yeah really happy with that one as well so for 75 euros i'm very happy then the third one i picked up is this rainbow islands uh, Bubble Bubble 2 and this one was the most expensive of all I paid 150 euros and yeah with this one same story if you go on eBay or anywhere else you're gonna be paying around the same uh, amount but then you have to pay for shipping stuff like that so I was like you know I'm gonna pick it up here because since I'm here now better take it with me because yeah don't have to pay for shipping but of course I paid for fuel and <laughs> the fuel is not very uh, cheap right now it's about two euros for one liter so that's hell expensive but anyways um, of course I was not only in Paris for buying uh, video games it was you know a small family trip so I enjoyed being in Paris uh, we went to dinner stuff like that so it was an amazing time and of course everywhere i go i have to visit some game stores to see what they have in store for me and this game the box is in a pretty nice condition as well um it's unfortunately in german i yeah normally don't prefer german uh, games i I want to have them in uh, Dutch or French because uh, uh, Holland and French it's together or I want to have them in English but anyways I bought it because it's a pretty rare game it's complete well it's not really rare but it's also not easy to get it and here you can see the cards and the manual in a pretty nice condition so really happy with that one as well so yeah, three awesome NES games that I can add to my NES collection. I think I'm around 70 NES games now and all complete in box because I only like to collect uh, complete in box uh, games. So I'm really happy to add those three to my NES collection. I want to thank you guys for hanging out, watching the video and I actually have another video of this great gaming boulevard in Paris. So if you want to check that out, I want to link it up right here. 
But as always, thank you for hanging out. Like the video if you do enjoy the series Hunting Abroad with Dutchie. And subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I hope to see you guys on the next.